He's ferocious. And yes, you've guessed it. Today, our stories are all about dinosaurs. And my name is David Mello. I'm the supervisor of children's services here at the Fall River Public Library. And I've got some fun stories to share with you about these gigantic creatures. And our first story will be, How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight? by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. I wonder how dinosaurs say goodnight. It must be tough getting a dinosaur into bed anyhow. We'll see what happens in this tale. How do dinosaurs say goodnight? And there's a yawning Ankylosaurus. He's dying to jump into bed. How do dinosaurs say goodnight when Papa comes in to turn off the light? Does a dinosaur slam his tail and pout? Does he throw his teddy bear all about? Does a dinosaur stomp his feet on the floor and shout, I want to hear one book more? Does a dinosaur roar? Roar. This Triceratops does not want to go to bed. How does a dinosaur say goodnight when Mama comes in to turn off the light? Does he swing his neck from side to side? Does he up and demand a piggyback ride? Ooh, he looks rather heavy. Does he mope? Does he moan? Does he sulk? Does he sigh? Does he fall on the top of his covers and cry? <laughs> Poor dinosaur. No, dinosaurs don't. They don't even try. They give a big kiss. They turn out the light. They tuck in their tails. They whisper, good night. They give a big hug, then give one kiss more. Good night, good night, little dinosaur. And that's how do dinosaurs say good night. So they're actually not very tough to get to sleep at all. What a wonderful story. And here we have some interesting dinosaur items. Let me show you a couple of them. Right here, oh my goodness, look at that. Now this here is a Tyrannosaurus toenail. Can you imagine having a toenail this size? But this is an actual replica cast directly from a real Tyrannosaurus toe. And, uh, Quite a remarkable item. Over here we have a toenail of a different sort, quite a bit smaller, from a smaller dinosaur called a Velociraptor. And you can see that this toenail is quite different from Tyrannosaurus rex. It's very thin, very sharp, and it's made for slashing. Now this, you might think, is another toenail or claw, but it's not. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's a tooth. A tooth 
from a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and their teeth could get up to nine inches long. Now here we have another toenail, or I should say almost fingernail. This is the thumb nail of an iguanodon. These were dinosaurs that had very prominent thumbs, and this was the nail that would be protruding from that thumb right here. And the last item I'm going to show you is this curious item right here. What do you think that is? Yes, it's an egg. This is the egg of a protoceratops. And our next story is a counting story, a number of dinosaurs. It's a short little book, but you will love the illustrations. It's a pop-up counting book by Paul and Henrietta Stickland. One little dinosaur. Plus one more makes two little dinosaurs. Plus, one more makes three little dinosaurs. And you guessed it. Plus one more makes four little dinosaurs. Plus one more makes five little dinosaurs. Whoa, we're getting out of control here. Plus one more makes six little dinosaurs. And one more makes seven little dinosaurs. And yet one more makes eight little dinosaurs. Oh my goodness, how far can we go here? And one more makes nine little dinosaurs. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. And one more makes ten little dinosaurs. What a fun book. Our next story is called Snappy Little Dinosaurs. And we're going to see a number of snappy little dinosaurs in this book because it's a pop-up book. <gasps> Triceratops munching away. Look at that. If this were a zillion years ago, think of the dinosaurs you would know. Now, this one here he likes to munch. In fact, he eats 10 trees for lunch. Now that's a dinosaur with a huge appetite. Most dinosaurs just love to play. They hide and seek both night and day. But many of them are so very tall that they find it hard to hide at all. Poor Diplodocus. He's having a hard time trying to find a, a good hiding place. He's just too big. Along the cliffs above the shore, there lives a flying dinosaur. Gigantic wings help her to fly across the prehistoric sky. And there we have Pteranodon with her great big wings gliding over the water. This youngster has a funny shape. His spikes are sharp. They make you gape. Right now, he's just a little one, but he'll be huge at 21. And look how big Mama is. 
and it won't be long before he gets that size. And these dinosaurs are called Stegosaurus. Deep in the waters of the sea, a dino swims around with glee. Her tail goes splash, her flippers flap, her giant jaws shut with a snap. And there we have Mosasaurus swimming in the depths of the ocean. I love all the little other animals around here. We see a, a little prehistoric sea turtle and jellyfish, and it's just so neat. Some dinosaurs can really run. They race and make it look like fun. Just watch their legs go to and fro. Where is this one going? Do you know? I have the faintest idea where he's running, but he wants to get there quick. Uh, maybe he's running off to McDonald's for some french fries. That could be. Here beneath the leafy shade, these enormous eggs were laid. This seems to be a special batch. Oh, oh look, a baby. He starts to hatch. And that's Protoceratops. This dino makes her tail go thump. The noise is loud. It makes you jump. Her skin is thick and very lumpy. No wonder that she's often grumpy. And that's Ankylosaur. And Ankylosaur was well known for his armored back and a tail like a hammer. This baby dino's all alone. Has mommy left him on his own? Oh no, his mom just heard him cry and soon she'll roar a lullaby. And there we see Tyrannosaurus Rex looking for his mother. Look at that. If someday you should hear a roar, don't think that it's a dinosaur. For as you know, and sad to say, there are no dinosaurs around today. And that's the snappy little dinosaurs. Our next story is Dinosaur Stomp. Now, you wouldn't think of dinosaurs throwing parties now, would you? But that's exactly what goes on in this story. Dinosaur Stomp, a monster pop-up book by Paul Stickland. I hear there's a stomp down at the swamp. The invite's out. Everyone roar and shout. This guy's all excited. Big or small, a welcome for all. Come out, don't miss a party like this. Hey, Stegosaurus. You're on your way to the party? Don't stop to eat. Get on your feet. And this guy's already found something to munch away on. Don't get in a spin. Come right on in. Jump and prance. It's a Dinosaur dance. And just look at all those dinosaurs. They look like they're having themselves a grand time. Gee, I might like to join them. And that's Dinosaur Stomp. Our last story is called 
how do dinosaurs get well soon? Well, we've seen how they go to bed in this story. Let's see how they mend themselves when they're not feeling well. And this story is called, How Do Dinosaurs Get Well Soon? by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. What if a dinosaur catches the flu? Does he whimper and whine in between each uh, 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 chew? Excuse me. Does he drop dirty tissues all over the floor? Does he fling all his medicine out of the door? Does he flip off his covers with tooth and with tail? Does he dump out his juice and get sick in a pail? Oh, I hope not. Does a dinosaur whale? He doesn't look very well. What if a dinosaur goes to the dock? Does he drag all his feet till his mom is in shock? Does he hold his mouth closed when he's told, open wide? Does he scream? Is he mean? Does he run off and hide? Does he push back each drink, spit his pills in the sink? Does he make a big stink? Is that what you think? No. He drinks lots of juice and he gets lots of rest. He's good at the doctors, cause doctors know best. He uses a hanky on mouth and on nose. He snuggles right down underneath the bedclothes. He takes all his medicine without a fight. He closes his eyes. He whispers, good night. Then mama and papa Tiptoe out the door. Get well, get well, little dinosaur. And so they actually make pretty good patience, I guess. Well, good night, little dinosaur. Get well soon. And that's how do dinosaurs get well soon? Well, I hope you enjoyed these dinosaur stories and... Oh, that's curious. There's something on the floor here. Oh, it's a, it's a dinosaur egg. Why, look at the... It's a hatched dinosaur egg. And I think I see something inside. Would, would you like to see what's inside the egg as well? Let's, let's take a peek. <gasps> Why? It's a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Why, why, look at that. Look at that cute little baby. Oh, he's adorable. Look, and he's got, he's already got two teeth in there. Look at that. What a cute little dinosaur. I think I'm going to give him a little kiss right on his nose. Come here, little dinosaur. You're so kiss. Ouch! Ow, 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 ouch! I don't recommend kissing baby dinosaurs. Well, I hope you've enjoyed all our dinosaur stories. I thank you all for being such wonderful listeners. And if you enjoyed these stories and would like to hear more, 
I invite you to the Fall River Public Library's Preschool Storytime every Tuesday morning at 10.30 right at the main branch of the Fall River Public Library on 104 North Main Street. We'll see you here.